Provincial Park is home to the world-famous Bower Lakes Canoe Circuit. The rugged snow-capped peaks of the Caribou Mountains and the gentler Quinell Highlands form a majestic backdrop for this chain of 10 lakes. It is a physically challenging 116 kilometer long trip that includes 12 kilometers of portages. It takes 6 to 10 days to complete and all weather conditions can be expected from beautiful summer days to high winds, rain and occasionally snow. Adequate preparation, experience, good physical condition and quality equipment are key to having a safe and enjoyable adventure. If you are a novice paddler, it is highly recommended that you take a canoe lesson to learn the basic strokes and rescue techniques. Here are a few tips to help with your planning. Following items are the minimum needed to safely paddle the circuit. A sturdy canoe or touring kayak in good repair, a personal flotation device or life jacket for each person and these must be worn while paddling the circuit. Paddles plus one spare per boat. Two 15 meter floating lines attached to both the bow and the stern of the boat. A baler or pump, a throw bag, a basic repair kit, and waterproof containers for all food and items carried in the canoe. For the portages, use a large backpack or a portage pack with a hip belt. Canoe carts are permitted on the circuit, but to reduce damage to the trails, the following best practices apply. The maximum width of the cart is 30 inches or 75 centimeters, and wide tires are highly recommended. If using a cart, the weight of the cargo in the canoe while portaging must not exceed 28 kilograms or 60 pounds. You must backpack all gear in excess of that limit. Weighing your gear prior to leaving home ensures that you have plenty of space in both your canoe and in your packs. The following personal equipment should be readily available for use throughout the day as conditions change. Sunscreen, sun hat and sunglasses. Insulating layers such as fleece or synthetic puffball type jackets, wool or fleece toques. Waterproof clothing including a jacket, pants and hat. Water shoes for use during the day. Suitable footwear for the portages as they can be rough, muddy and slippery. Use polyester or wool clothing and dress in layers. Jeans and other cotton items are not suitable for the circuit. The weather can be cold and wet for days and it is impossible to dry out cotton clothing during these inclement periods. Take spare sets of warm clothing, but be careful not to overpack. All clothing and sleeping bags should be contained in waterproof stuff sacks. For camping equipment, it is necessary to have matches with fire starter in a waterproof container. A flashlight or headlamp with spare batteries. Lightweight stove and fuel with sufficient food to last a couple of extra days should the trip take longer than expected due to unforeseen circumstances such as adverse weather. Dehydrated food is recommended as most fresh food is heavy and does not keep well. Careful menu planning prior to the trip can simplify camp life and reduce waste. Take along extra garbage bags and toilet paper. And for splitting firewood, it is recommended that each group have a five pound splitting axe. Bring along cooking and eating utensils, a good quality tent, a sleeping bag that is good to zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, with a quality sleeping pad. A tarp with extra cordage for setting up as a rain shelter at camp, insect repellent, map, compass, or a GPS, a basic first aid kit, and a water treatment system such as a portable water filter and spare containers to hold treated water. In order to preserve the pristine environment of the canoe circuit, no commercial beverage containers such as bottles, cans, liquor bottles, tetra packs, or glass jars are permitted. No dogs or other domestic animals are allowed anywhere on the circuit. No firearms and no external speakers for music devices. If you plan on fishing, you will require a provincial fishing license, which can be purchased online or at most outdoor stores. Please respect any wildlife you may encounter. Do not feed them, avoid approaching them, and for your own safety as well as theirs, give them the space they need and deserve. Upon arrival, you must register at the Park Registration Centre and view a mandatory orientation video. Once you have completed this and your canoe equipment has been checked and weighed by the park operator, 
you will receive your park permit and your journey begins. Thank you for taking time to watch this video and we wish you a safe and memorable trip.